a hold down man, suitcase this, my cell phone, I'ma charge it on walk with a limp, get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it, next time I see you ass, you gon' lose airlift. Everybody y'all know, k for all TV back in the building, y'all hit that like button man, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can see it first. So, today I'ma go ahead and I'ma break it down to y'all, I done got me a, a Florida Department of Corrections canteen list. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going over the, uh, you know, the, the top items, you know, the items that are most recommended and what what is the top items that everybody wants the most, you know, on the compound. You know, you buy something in the canteen window on the compound, it could go for more or it could go for less. You see what I'm saying? Then they have these packages that come around. They're seasonal. They come around like winter, summer fall you know stuff like that and they got exclusive items but for the most part i'm gonna be going over just the standard you know florida you know canteen list it's the same at all camps in the state of florida except for private camps like moorhaven south bay you know places like that they uh they're not ran through keefe and um you know so y'all just y'all just bear with me sit back and uh Check it out. You know, a lot of people would think it's shebangs. This is the number one prison chip. But it is not the number one, you know, recommended item. The number one sold item in prison. It is definitely not the shebang chip. But this is the number one prison chip. So let's get started. All right. So as y'all see, we have the Florida Department of Corrections mail canteen menu. All right. And we're going to start with the beverages. You know, and what do you see at the tip top? Coffee. Coffee is the number one item that is bought in prison. Like I said, it isn't the shebang chip. That's the number one prison chip. Coffee is such a high, high end recommended item. No matter where you go, everybody's going to want it. Everybody's going to get it, even if they don't drink it, if they're selling it, no matter what it is. But anyways, let's go down this list. So as you see, you can get a bag of Keefe ice, uh, Keefe coffee for $6. You know, then you got your standard sodas, which is Coke, Diet Coke, orange soda, grape soda, Sprite. We didn't have grape soda when I was in there. Those are all a do dollar now, you know, um. You got your, your 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 drink beverages as of mixed crystal lights. You got your hot cocoa. You got your Hershey's milk, the chocolate milk. Those right there are another thing that a lot of people get because they're, you know, they use them for when they work out. You know, a lot of people want to drink milk. Ain't nothing like a good old glass of cold milk. Um, Powerade, the berry blast flavor. They didn't have that when I was in there. They only had orange. Um, ginger ale, fused teas, those are what else other, a lot of people get because when you don't want to drink soda. And then you know you're, you can get your individual tea bags after you're done drinking a water, like the, the dollar waters right there. After you're done drinking the water, you fill it up, put a tea bag in there, you make your own tea. Okay, so what do we have over here? We have the condiments are all right here as you see the prices. Mustard's three cents, a plastic spoon's two cents, 38 cents for ranch, six cents for soy sauce, two cents for equal, four cents for relish. Okay. For those that don't know, you do have to buy all of your own condiments and everything in prison. You want ketchup, you got to buy ketchups. You want mustard, same thing. Mayos, same thing. All right. Now let's look at these cookies and snacks. Um, you have the Golden Valleys. You got the beef and cheese. Those right there also you would think is a number one thing, but not in prison because they're so expensive. Then Deli Bites right there. The resealable bag right here. Those right there are definitely something that everybody uses to cook. You know, you got your cereals, you know, and here goes, here comes the chips. As you see, Moon Lodge was the brand that Shebang was at first. But now they done made their name a whole corporation. Those are all the chips you have right there. 
them buffalo blue cheese chips are awesome you know these are the, these are the actual prices of everything um there's your uncle al's cookies which are the same ones you find in little arab stores or in gas stations they're 99 cents in prison you know you got the corn chip the cactus annies right there cheese it's can't forget the cuban crackers those are best to eat with like a bowl a goulage you know you got to have the cuban crackers okay let's go over here to the candies now so for the most part you see they got they got the hard candy they got the sour patch which is the um those are sour jacks really but the gummy bears you already know like my cooking video gummy bears and sprite every place has m&ms and snickers twix you know you get them hard candies like that watermelon one right there and you go ahead and you can make your own um you know you can make your own um what's it called your own lollipops and different flavored drinks here's the rest of the list of the condiments that i didn't show y'all at first you see you got barbecue sauce for 20 cents coffee creamer four cents ketchup two cents mayonnaise five cents now we're going to go ahead and go down here to, you know, the entrees. The different, you know, the different. Right here is your standard, you know, your amazing meals, which it's like a meal. And they heat it up for you in the microwave. And then you just, you get to eat it right then and there. So it's like a hot plate. That stuffed chicken with rice and mushrooms is a fire. I used to get it. And when I'd be sitting inside the day room eating it, people would be like, oh, frog on his rich nigga shit again. They'll go frog over there on his rich nigga shit. That's what they used to say when I'd be sitting there eating that shit. Because it's a six something dollar meal. Of course, your beef stews. The Brushy Creek. Those right there are awesome to cook with. You got your chili and beans. Fresh catch tuna, which is what a lot of people get when they work out. You know, a lot of people who are on their workout stuff, they got a hell of, like, you know, workout people in there that are, like, always eating tunas and you know white milk and oatmeal different things like that you know you got the fish steaks and, and and hot sauce you got the ones in green chilies um right there the flour tortillas that's like another that's like a thing that's actual high commodity everybody uses those to cook you know that's what you're gonna eat it in you ain't got bread you know um, they didn't have hard-boiled eggs when I was in there. Um, mackerel I used to eat, which is awesome. Their peanut butter squeezes. That sliced dry salami wasn't in there when I was in there either. Um, you always have a summer sausage. Um, these refried beans and the refried beans and rice, those are also, you know, they're in my thumbnail. Those are actually a main thing that everyone gets because that's something that's going to fill you up. Right here, this is where you get your frozen sandwiches. You know, of course, the big-ass chicken sandwich. I had so many of them in my life. That's like the main sandwich is that and the 18-wheeler. The 18-wheeler is right there, which is the beef charbroiled patty, barbecue, big-ass sandwich. Those right there are off the chain. It's like a McDonald's McRib sandwich, but they call it the 18-wheeler because of how long it is. It's, it's, it's like three of the ones that you get at McDonald's. That with some shebangs and a cheese squeeze is like a classic like mixture then you got the beef and bean burritos which we i used to get them every morning and get two of them and dip it in a cup of ranch you got right there you got just a regular hamburger with cheese the uh the buffalo bites right there which are the boneless wing buffalo style bites those two but you only get six of them and you got to be careful when people hook when people hook them like cook them because they cook them inside the canteen window they could hook you up and give you like the, all of them or they might take one or two of them out of there. So you won't really know. You'll think that you just got a small pack that time. Um, chip round ice cream sandwich. Then you got the regular ice cream sandwiches. And then, of course, the, uh, the Chipotle barbecue bacon burger. That right there alone is off the chain as well. That's something that's like very like, you know, bought as well. You know, the Chipotle bacon cheeseburger. Okay, and then now we'll go over here, right here, and we'll look at all the stuff they have as far as, like, for your health. <clears throat> you know, you have Tums, just in case, you know, heartburn or anything like that. 
um, anti-fungal cream for, you know, your feet, you know, baby powder. That's another thing a lot of people buy because we use that as like a smell good scent in prison. You know, like people walk around the dorm blowing it in the air so that way you don't smell the smoke. Um, cough drops, you know, because once one person gets sick, everyone gets sick in the dorm. You know, chapstick. Um, look at that. They make you pay a dollar eighty nine for non aspirin Tylenol extra strength for four, for one pack of four capsules. Um, vitamins ten dollars. You know, and this is just standard things I'm showing you now. We don't went over the food part. Um, here's the batteries, which you know you use for your MP or charge your phone or whatever it is you may be doing actually you see it's three dollars a pack usually if someone wants to get on your cell phone if you have a jack you charge them three dollars for 15 minutes so or you just tell them to get you a pack of batteries you know blue mesh bag that's what you carry your canteen in you know you got to buy your own bowl of course playing uh deck decks of playing cards um a coffee cup or a regular cup and then your envelopes at eight cents a piece and then um over here what is this over here okay this is where it shows if you want bigger envelopes or or you know a notebook or you know your pen when you, you want to you got to buy your own pencils you could buy a photo album they fall apart though eventually so you'll end up buying them over and over and over again the photo albums um, a photo ticket, that's if you want to get a picture taken, like, in the VP, which is the visitation part. Each month, they, 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 they do picture call out. So you can go up there after you pay $2 for your ticket, and then they'll take a picture of you and give it to you, and you can send it home to your family. Same as if you come to Vizzo. When you come to Vizzo, like, your family comes to see you, if they want to take a picture with you, they got to pay $2. But it's the same you know, as if you want to do it from the pound, but you can only do it once a month. Plastic cup, your plastic mirror, it's a little rectangle, shiny little piece. It's not even glass. It's just like a shiny piece of plastic. People usually have pieces like the size of like a ripped piece of paper, real small, like from throughout the years. People use a piece that's the size of a quarter, you know, and stuff like that. Um... A poncho for if it rains, you know, because they throw you out there in the rain. It doesn't matter if it's raining or not. That doesn't stop what's going on. If you want to, if you want to eat chow and it's pouring, you better go out there and get soaked. Um, ear pads, um, shaver, um, shoelaces, sunglasses, and um, you know, of course, your dictionary. Right here, I realized I forgot some of the pastries though, for the food items. Um. Right here, of course, you got the cream-filled cupcakes, the chocolate ones, coffee cakes, you know, croissants, you know, orange cupcakes, danishes. Those are always there. The little Dutch's donuts, you know, honey buns. That's one of the top paid, like, top items also. You know, Twinkies are there, but when it comes to them honey buns, you know, you, you'll eat them so much in prison... You know, because everyone wants that because that's what's going to fill you up. You know, that's the main thing that fills you up. So, like, everyone's going to eat honey buns. You'll eat so many of them. By the time you go home, you'll be honey bunned out. Okay. And then let's go right here. When it comes to postage, you know, you got to pay a cent for a stamp. You know, this is how it costs for your postage stamps. Here goes all the soups and everything. You know, they got the regular, they got Cajun chicken you know, they got chicken, they got the chili one, the hot and spicy vegetable, which is actually my favorite and most recommended. And then you got the, the little cube where you can buy the cubes of the chicken broth. And then you got these soup, these just traditional ones that are $1.30. Those are like a cup soup. I used to get those too, and people used to say the same shit. They go for all when I rich, nigga shit, every time. Because instead of paying $0.65 cent for a soup, I pay one thirty for a cup soup. And another thing about the soups that are in prison is their ramen noodle bags are actually clear. Like the picture, it's in my thumbnail, you see one of them. They're actually clear. The, the packet inside of it's clear. You know, the seasoning pack, 
that when you start learning the numbers on the season pack, it'll just be a clear pack with a with colorful season, you know, and then it'll have a number on it. And then you start learning the numbers so you know which kind it is. Okay, over here we have our, our toiletry stuff. You know, you got your your body lotion, your conditioner, the denture adhesive for people whose teeth come out. You know, the roll-on deodorants, those suck. You know, those are mostly like what people get in confinement. You know, those suck for real. The hand and body lotion, shampoo, cocoa butter, hair brush, hair dressing, you know, magic shave. That shit right there will burn you up. And it literally says on their formula for black men, but white people use it in prison and everything, and it burns their skin up if they don't do it right. Antibacterial bar soap, moisturizer bar soap, shampoo, sunblock, toilet paper. You could pay a dollar five a roll if you run out of paper, because they only give you toilet paper the first and fifteenth of every month. So one roll's got to last two weeks. Two rolls got to last a month. Colgate and washcloth. Okay, now let me see. Okay, this is if you want to buy like a pen, round stick, a black bic. If you want to buy a pen, it's 22 cents. This is if you want to buy your flip flops. You know, nobody really buys them. They're given to you. But if you do lose them, you do need shower slides. They will not give them to you. So you will have to buy those. It's not like the county jail where they need you to have, have you walking around with them. If you do not have shower slides, then you will be stuck walking around in Crocs is what they issue. Floss loops, good sense cotton swabs. And um, for the most part, this is all that you get in the Florida Department of Corrections. I showed it to y'all, you know, as best as I could. Pray no one ever has to go there because it may look like a lot, but it isn't. Well, y'all, there you have it. I just showed y'all the whole Florida Department of Corrections canteen list. As you see, there's a lot of items, but it's not enough for some of these people that are serving life sentences you know, to live off of. It damn sure isn't enough for that. It's not even enough for people that are serving three, five, six, eight years. It may seem like it, but trust me, it's two pages long and some of them prices are ridiculous. Now, like I said, the shebang is the number one prison chip. But when it comes to being the number one item in prison, that is sold the most, that is guaranteed. The whole compound goes crazy if there isn't none. And that right there is coffee. Keefe coffee brand is the number one that everyone loves. People from prison literally get out and, and buy it and order it. That's how much they like it. Keefe. Before I left prison, they no longer had Keefe. They changed it to Billy Brew. You know, now Billy Brew, it's a good coffee too. But coffee's used in so many different things. You have the ones that drink it. You have the ones that sell it. You have the ones that need it to make coffee paper to smoke. Every morning there's people walking around with their cup with their spoon in it. With their hand out. Asking for coffee. That is the number one thing in prison. It's the closest you're going to get to getting like caffeined up the closest to make people, you know, feel like they're a human being. So anyways, y'all hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to fall back and eat the rest of my shebangs. And until uh, next time, I'm going to see y'all again. This frog.